Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. And uh, first off, uh, live cam up at uh, Copper Mountain in Colorado. Blue skies as far as the eye can see. And this is, this is the story of the West right now. It's a pretty quiet pattern. A lot of blue skies skiing under the sun here. Copper's reporting 144 for the season. <laughs> we just need a lot more snow in Colorado to build these totals up to where they need to be by this time of the year. And this is, you know, this is not just the case in Colorado. Utah needs more snow, and there are other places as well. Um, there are a couple of bright spots in the forecast, some small features. I'll show you those and how it plays into the forecast for next week as well coming up. So again, there's copper. Let's look at the satellite. And boy, there's just nothing there. I mean, it is high pressure, high and dry across the west. The feature to watch, though, is this cutoff low right here. There's your low. You can see the spin moving into SoCal. Essentially, this low is cut off from the polar jet, but it will catch a ride on the southern branch and get swept into the desert southwest in the four corners. And this is actually one of the good things about the forecast is this storm. If we didn't have this, boy, this would be an unbelievably quiet stretch of weather for the west. So, all right, let's look at the jet as I put this into motion. By the time we get into Thursday on the clock at 10 a.m., that you can kind of see the position of the low kind of being coddled by the jet stream right there. Now, that will move through between Wednesday night and Thursday. And once it moves through, I mean, we're back to high pressure for um, a good day or two before we have to look at this. All right, so this is another area of low pressure that is sitting out over the Pacific. But by the time it gets inland, this is Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, it, it runs into this giant high pressure dump. Now, this low will sacrifice itself and be destroyed by this high pressure. It gives up a lot of its energy. And that's important because it will help to kind of set the stage for a next for another storm system for next week, which by the time it arrives, and let me show that to you. So that flashes through Saturday night, Sunday morning, and I'll show you what that does. There'll be some very light accumulations. It sets the stage, and this is Tuesday at 5 a.m. on the clock. This next low, by the time it arrives, it will benefit from that first low that I showed you basically being destroyed because it will weaken the high to some degree. So this low will have less to do and it will stay more intact Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This will be a, a more stormy pattern by the middle of next week for the West Coast and for the interior as a result. So let's look at this on our future radar and the satellite. Here comes that cutoff low riding the southern jet. You can see it sweeping in. There will be an arc of precip that probably will brush the Wasatch, but more so Sundance down to Bryan Head if you're looking for a better snow. I would look at Telluride, Purgatory, Wolf Creek, Silverton, and Taos as we go into Thursday and Friday for some of the best accumulations um, with that arcing fashion and that southern low. Um, so then that storm just plows its way through and it is over by the time we get into Friday. It's already moving away. We'll get another big break in the action across the west, but here comes that sacrificial low. You can almost see it off the west coast right now with that shield of rain and the snow. So then it drops south with the jet into California. Now it will deliver some snow from Shasta down to Taos and down to Mammoth, but light to moderate in those areas, Shasta will probably get the most. What this low does is then it races in Saturday night into Sunday morning into the interior. And like I showed you, it kind of gets destroyed, but it will flash the Wasatch in the central and northern mountains of Colorado with a very light, quick accumulation on its way through in mid weekend. And then it's out of here. But let's see what it does. There's another day of pretty dry weather, and here comes that other low, which will benefit from that, uh, that first low. And look what it does. This one definitely has more punch. It's out here. Look at the snow in the Sierra. And I like what I'm seeing here with that moisture that's being moved inland. This will uh, provide a much stormier pattern. And we're not talking, you know, the, the, what's going to happen is minor compared to maybe what happens here. And there may be another storm behind this which would be wonderful. And again, that's by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So snow accumulation between tonight and tomorrow, very light stuff. You'd have to go down to the southwest mountains of Colorado to really find the best accumulations. By Friday, look at the new snow in Colorado. Yeah, Brian Head is there, a little bit brushes the Wasatch. But look at uh, Whistler Blackcomb by Friday. You're working on 10, 11, 12 inches, so that'd be a place to check out for sure, even Baker into Saturday. Look at Baker up to 12 by Saturday. Whistler adds more. 
and that uh, that one storm that comes into the west coast there it is it lays down a little bit of snow into the uh, the sierra those numbers will go up just a little bit more as we go from saturday into sunday as well but again that's the sacrificial low then that races into the interior between saturday night and sunday and you've got a little bit of additional accumulation through the wasatch through snow basin park city alta and beyond and it adds a little bit in steamboat now going from sunday into monday there just is not a lot there um, and again it's just it's just the battle of high pressure really i mean you're looking at a bit more up in whistler if you were skiing there i'd probably take a look at whistler for monday uh, between monday and tuesday then we start to refocus on what's hitting the west coast because watch what happens see all the numbers tick up shasta down to squaw valley um, and again that's going to be pushing that shield of snow into the interior so that's our next great hope but that arrives tuesday wednesday thursday of next week all right thank you for tuning in here always appreciate it take care and have a good day